Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is a sequel of previous video where we have discussed the derivation of formulas uh, for various torques of induction motor and now we will be using those formulas to solve example 7.5 or actually discuss example 7.5. Okay, these were the formulas that we had derived and we'll be using these formulas to solve um, a problem given here. So, um, I hope your teacher allows you to use a cheat sheet so you can write these formulas to solve. Or if you have difficulty, then uh, I'll also try to make another video where you don't have to memorize all these. Okay, for now, keep a record of all these formulas. We'll be using these. Okay, let's go to the question or example 7.5. First of all, voltage is 460 volt, 25 horsepower, 60 hertz, 4 pole, Y connected. Wound rotor induction motor has the following impedances, these impedances. So what I have done is that I have drawn the equivalent circuit for induction motor first of all. I have plugged in all the values that are given here like R1, this is R1, this is X1, so X1, so all the values I have plugged in. I have also plugged in the voltage. Now this diagram is for single phase volt uh, diagram. The voltage given always in the question uh, in this form is line to line voltage. So 460 is line to line voltage. We have to convert that into uh, line to phase voltage so we have to divide that by under root 3 so the phase voltage is 266 volt okay now this given the question has four parts what is the maximum torque of this rotor and at what speed and slip similarly what is the starting torque then when the rotor uh, resistance is doubled then you have to calculate uh, two parameters and Finally, you have to plot the graph. Okay, so let's go to question number 1A. Okay, what is the maximum torque of this motor? At what speed and slip does this occur? So the, actually there are three questions. Let's see. First formula is for maximum torque. This formula we have derived already. So we'll straight away use this formula and that is uh, not much intelligence use, uh, involved in this. You simply plug in the values. Then we have to also find the slip. This is the formula for slip. So we'll use this formula. And then we have to also find speed. So this formula is for the speed, the speed of the rotor, or the mechanical speed is 1 minus slip and sink, sink speed. Of the synchronous speed okay so for solving all these three we need to find v thevenin we got to have r thevenin x thevenin and omega sync so let's find these one by one this is the formula for v thevenin so we'll plug in all the values from the circuit 266 for the voltage, XM 26.3 and similarly all the other voltages plugged in and using your scientific calculator you can straight away get the answer 255.2 volt. So V Thevenin we have found out. Formula for R Thevenin is this formula here also we will just simply plug in the values. So R Thevenin is 0 0.590 x thevenin is equal to x1 which is 1.106 ok so this is the equivalent circuit thevenin equivalent circuit v thevenin r thevenin x thevenin we connect the disconnected portion or the load portion here Okay, and finally uh, we have to find uh, omega sink. Omega sink. When we talk of omega, we are talking of the 
angular frequency in radians per second and that can be achieved if you know the uh, synch synchronous speed multiply by 2 pi radians divided by 60 so let's see what is n sync now n sync can be found from this formula 120 into the frequency line frequency divided by number of poles and so that is 1800 revolutions per second putting this value in here we get omega sync to be 185 88.5 radians per second okay so we found all these four terms now let's get the formula again for t max we just plug in all the values T max is 229 Newton meter and the slip again we plug in the values here slip maximum is 0 0.198 and the third parameter the mechanical speed is 1 minus s and sync we know all the values s from here 1800 rpm was the sync speed so the mechanical or the rotor speed is 140, uh, 1444 revolutions per minute. Now with this data in mind, let's build a concept here uh, from the torque speed diagram. So this is the torque speed diagram. And here if you plug in the these two values, you can see that the maximum occurs at 229. So this is 229 and the speed at which it occurs is 1447. So this is the concept. Uh, uh, you can easily get the idea from the uh, graph for uh, induced torque and the speed. Okay, the next is what is the starting torque of this motor? Now, These were the formulas that we had studied. This is for the induced torque. This is S maximum. This is maximum torque. And now the starting torque, what is the concept here? Look here, this is the stator field rotating at synchronous speed. The rotor is not rotating, it's fixed, it is not moving and therefore there will be maximum slip between the two this is static and this is moving and so the slip at the start will be 100 percent and that means s is equal to one so we'll plug in the value of s is equal to one and this to get the starting torque equation so the starting torque we plug in the value of s is equal to one and this so this is the equation and here now again plug in all the values so the starting torque will be 104 newton meters again we go back to the graph to see what is this concept now see the torque speed curve it is starting at this point which is 104 so the starting torque we have calculated to be 104 newton meters when at the speed is zero that means the rotor is not moving it is here Okay, coming on to third part, we have to calculate the speed and the starting torque when the resistance is doubled. So let's double the resistance. Earlier it was 0 0.332, now we have doubled it to 0 0.664. So we have to find, uh, the, to find the speed. We'll use this formula. We don't know what is the sink. Uh, sorry, uh, slip. Now, we can use this formula to calculate slip by putting R2 is equal to 0664. Now, instead of doing that, we can see that the relation between slip and the R2 is direct. So, if the R2 has doubled, that means the slip would be doubled also. We calculated the slip to be 0 0.19. So, we double it to get 0 0.396. We could have calculated it also, no problem. 
okay so using that slip now you can calculate the maximum torque speed putting in this formula so this is the uh, maximum uh, sorry mechanical speed when the resistance is double now you can see what is happening that when the speed has increased uh, sorry when the resistance is, uh, or the load on the motor has increased the resistor or uh, the revol uh, speed has reduced it was 14 something earlier and now it has become 1087 and this phenomena you can see from this graph also this is for the double load and now you can see that at maximum torque the speed is 1087 and now uh, what is the starting torque this was the formula for starting torque so plugging in the values we get 170 and from this graph for the uh, double r2 you can see that the starting torque is 170 when the speed is zero and finally Uh, the question asks us to plot the, this graph which we have been using. So you can take help of MATLAB to plot this graph. The uh, program is given in the book, so you can try that and see if you can get this graph. So I hope this gives you an understanding how you can solve this question. Thank you.